Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but uh, we're back today. So, one of my uh, latest videos, I got a glimpse of a new uh, new implement that I haven't really talked about yet. And uh, today I'm going to talk about what I bought and uh, why I bought it and what we're using it for and whatnot. So, this is a Gale 300 chopper. Uh, it came with this little bitty hay hat and a one row corn head. Kind of got a laugh about that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know what year it is. It's, it's an oldie. It's... It ain't much, I'll just say that. <laughs> but, uh, so the reason I bought it is because I wanted to try something. So, I don't know where I started with all this, but, uh, I saw something on uh, a couple Facebook groups and whatnot that, uh, they, they the bigger goat dairies most of the, everything i saw was kind of in europe but uh they'll actually uh the video i actually saw they were running a self-propelled forage chopper and uh they were chopping the rows of haylage and blowing it right back onto the ground like straight down into a roll and then coming through with a big square baler and then baling it and right away, everybody in the comments was like, why? Nobody really understood the concept. I still am not really sure about that concept, but it is what it is. And once somebody actually explained what they were doing, they they chopped the material, the, the hay, not the haylage. It was dry hay is what it was. Chopped the material really short. And then uh, when the goats get to it and you feed it to the goats, they don't waste anything. Um, and that is because if you, say, reach into a pile of hay and say the stems are 12 to 18 inches long or whatever, when a goat goes in and grabs a mouthful and pulls it out, a good majority of that ends up on the ground just what it is it this this applies to cattle as well cattle and sheep and I mean horses I guess even there's a lot more you're you grab a mouthful and pull it out you're pulling out say more than you want and a lot of it gets dropped on the ground trampled turns into bedding eventually um, so my point is, is, I wanted to try to chop the bales or chop the the hay prior to feeding it, and uh, so far it's been I've been doing this for probably a couple of weeks, three four weeks now, maybe longer than that. But so this is the finished product here. Now these are this is a little bit long. Some of this is a little bit long. There's some longer stems in here. But uh, for the most part, it's it's chopped pretty good. And uh, I just come in with the skid loader here. We scoop up a bucket full. And uh, I fork it into the mangers. Now we've been kind of using uh, the mangers more than the hay feeders because you know the mangers they kind of got to stick their head into and eat and they're not pulling it out and dropping it and whatnot so yeah so back to when I started so I really wanted to try this and uh, I actually used our chopper our New Holland uh, FP 230 chopper 
but it made me a little nervous about it because if we were to go ahead and sell that chopper I mean I I don't know what we get for it but uh, it's those aren't exactly cheap um, so I didn't want to be throwing uh, slabs of hay or, or who knows what you find uh, and, and as well with that chopper the, the metal art uh, system is not working on the chopper we got it kind of wired open because that we, sh we really should fix it uh, but we're not really chopping anymore besides uh, the little bit of uh, maybe custom work that I'm doing I did like 12 acres this year so that might be enough to keep it around for a little while just to make sure everything adjusts to what we're doing right now which it is but uh, so anyways I didn't want to be wearing out our say expensive chopper kind of experimenting and as well as the metal arts not working I didn't want to throw a rake tooth or uh, even just stones and whatever else would have been picked up into the bale um, so I started looking online and I found this one for $500 which uh, I thought it's it's $500 if it doesn't work it doesn't work I can sell it or we can uh, I think I might actually do a bunch of green green chopping with it um, I always I always like doing that I'd have to I got to cut out the cut in front of it but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens uh, got more cows to feed this year so gotta gotta keep them fed if they run out of pasture so I found this one for five hundred dollars. It is an it's a good chopper for what it is. Um, guy had it. They just did some uh, chopped a little bit of corn with it. Uh, Any sounds like they they just uh, green chopped some corn to feed. So probably didn't even use hardly hardly that much. The knives are extremely balanced. Uh, you. Sh I run this I shut it down the knives spin for probably three minutes I would say before they completely stop so really balanced and uh, uh, they might need a sharpening I'm not really sure how to go about doing that I almost think there might be a sharpener on here but uh, I don't know I don't have a book for it I was gonna try and find something but I didn't really but uh, so yeah I'll have to show you guys what I do but uh, I've been chopping uh, round bales we got uh, I bought some round bales at an auction a few weeks back really nice really nice hay in my opinion I I like this uh, marsh canary hay really nice and green and good hay with maybe doesn't quite have the nutritional value that most most people are looking for and hey if if I can get it for cheaper than I can sell my hay might as well buy it right um, rather than feeding my hay that I can get so much a bale for I can buy hay for half that price and they're, they're round bales. There might be even a little bit more hay in a round bale than in the square. I don't know. But uh, anyways, what I do. Now this is this is what I did to this bale here. But uh, we brought a round bale in here. I grabbed my chainsaw that I got. And uh, he actually cut the bale along the... Let me go. I'll go walk over by the round bales here. So here I found a round bale that's a little bit closer. Uh, you can see here the steers are uh, really coming along here on the corn, shell corn ration here. We're fully switched over. 
to uh, shell corn and we're using dried distillers as a protein source um, we're bedding them frequently every at least every week we're getting we're dumping bales in across the road is getting a few more uh, but we also for the smaller groups uh, we gave them a bunch of this hay we had from a marsh we made um, just uh, I mean, we're trying to really keep everybody happy and you know the hay is kind of cheap right now for for uh, something like this but anyways when I go to chop the bales I well, first you remove the net wrap then I take the chainsaw and I cut the the width ways I guess you'd call it and the bales peel peel open just beautifully um, we'll hopefully get some I'll have to show you guys that when I get to it and I can cut all the way down to the core and just just peel it open and then you can kind of pull the layers off and uh, just I just pitch it right through the machine not the not the greatest thing to do I mean it's for one yeah I'm standing pretty close to a moving machine that I shouldn't really be standing by but um, this I think this is a precursor to a bale chopper in my opinion uh, I if I could find a better way to unroll the round bales which there are there are methods out there uh, actually the first bale the first couple times I uh, unrolled the bales out in the field here we actually took the rotary rake and kind of split the split the mat or whatever you want to call it and that worked okay it was it's still too much for this little chopper though it, it kind of it's hard if it was a little bit uh, thinner uh, softer hay maybe we could split it a little better and it work a little work better but this is the hay I want to do you, you know it's uh, just nice uh, I don't know I I think this is really nice hay for, for what I paid for it I mean I paid like betting price for this stuff but uh, so yeah anyway that's that's pretty much the story on this guy this old relic then uh, I had the Deutz on it first but uh, I needed just a little more power so we got the 6290 on it uh, I mean this this thing a few tweaks I noticed uh, they must uh, either broke this off or did something to it at some point but for the most part I mean it's a really nice machine tires are in rough shape I'm, I'm lucky I got home uh, some of the chains need to be tightened up but uh, yeah that'll be uh, that's a pretty simple simple job and yeah so that's that's all I got to say about it I guess we're gonna scoop up a bucket full and uh, feed the calf barn and we'll I guess we'll keep keep using it and see how it works this year if uh, if I decide I really like feeding hay like this maybe uh, maybe it'll be worth uh, finding a chopper of some sort but I don't know if I get a bale processor I'm not sure how fine it chops it depending on uh, obviously the ones in my price range are not going to be the greatest of machines but it is what it is so anyways uh, we'll uh, try and fire out a couple videos here of whatever I guess uh, I haven't done a whole lot lately I've been trying to uh, post a little more on my Instagram uh, which is 
uh, WI boards beef and bailing. It's pretty much the same as YouTube, I believe. Been trying to post a little more in there if you want a little more, uh, say, daily updates. Head over there and follow that. Uh, mainly, I'm just throwing up stories from time to time. But, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope to see you next time.